Hello everybody, my name is John, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Now I know that I said that this might not happen, I might stop recording Dark Souls, but I just decided to to do, I, I think I forgot to rest at the bonfire, I'm gonna go do that. I just decided to record this because I, I felt the need. I really don't want to be canceling series like this, and plus I think this would be really fun to go through to the end. So, in the last video, we conquered the Capra Demon, and when I say conquered, I mean... Hmm. Just barely beat the Capra Demon. <laughs> it wasn't that bad once we really got down the final strategy, but for most of the video, there was uh, quite a bit of dying. There was a lot of that. And um, when you beat the Capra Demon, he gives you an item called the Depths Key. Now that item is an item that gives you access to the depths. That is what a key does for things in video games and real life. And since it is called depths key, it's a key to the depths. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing the depths and um, funny thing about the depths. Uh, there's a couple of reasons that I don't want to record it. I'm not actually going to do the whole depths. Uh, because okay I'll explain number one it's too damn dark now that's a uh, that's a complaint that you could say for a lot of Dark Souls but there's just not a lot that's visually interesting happening on the screen in the depths to where people would really want to watch it number two it's kind of a maze I always get lost in the depths, and when you get lost in the depths, you're usually greeted by several enemies which will not give you a good time. And as much as I'd like to show you those enemies, I don't really want to show you me getting lost over and over. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through to all the essential parts of the depths. That is, uh, we have to get a couple of important items and... I do feel like fighting the boss, even though it's not necessarily essential. Uh, I will, I will try on the boss, and and if I die over and over, maybe I'll, maybe I'll give up, or maybe I'll edit it together. And what the hell was that? Did you guys see that invisible wall right there? Jesus Christ! All right, that's invisible wall, or maybe a 3D model not correctly showing up, or something. But there's a lot of hollows down here. That's why I'm moving very slowly. Let's see if I can actually get him with the bow this time. Cautious play. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Uh, our floating arrow there didn't really do much to help us. Oh yeah, I love doing that when you time it just perfectly. Now I think there's one more back there. No, but we already got it. Okay. So let's go ahead and fight this guy in the corner. So the... Oh, god damn it. That is the worst possible thing to happen right now. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to edit this part out, but what I'm going to do real quick is just run to the blacksmith. I'll put Firelink and um, uh, repair my weapon, because when that happens, you really just have to go repair it. The damage would be too bad. I, plus I'm going to be fighting a boss, there's no way that I'd be able to do anything, so I will cut this off right here, and when I'm back, our weapon will be repaired and we'll be back at that place in the depths, so I will see you guys later. Alright everybody, we are back in the depths, and um, I did not rest at a bonfire, so I was assuming that these enemies would all be gone, uh, because I already defeated them, but apparently... Bonfires are not the only thing which causes enemies to respawn. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I'm sure that there's some highly informed YouTube commenter who could fill me in on that. But, uh, yeah, apparently bonfires are not the only thing that determine that. And let me just make sure that there's nobody back there. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. And uh, let's get rid of him and then grab that item back there. Uh, whenever your weapon has to be repaired in Dark Souls, just go do it. Just go do it. It won't give you a huge penalty when it's at risk, but when it's like the worst condition it could be, and I don't remember what it is, it's absolutely terrible. 
And uh, especially since we're going to be fighting that boss. A boss who uh, I might actually find difficulty on. And I'm not sure about that, but uh, the last time that I fought him, I died on him a bit. So I'm, I'm a little worried that that might happen. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I didn't mean to kick, man. Oh, man. Okay, this is tough. I did take little damage before coming down here. So uh, I'm trying to conserve my Estus and use it when it's more essential, when I've lost more health. Let's go ahead and drag out some more hollows here. Oh wow, he is so angry at my presence that he's just destroying all of his furniture. That's pretty bad. Come over here, buddy. Come on, let's fight. Let's fight. You versus me. Me against you. Okay. So there's a couple mini bosses which we have to fight here. And the reason that we're doing the depths is because there's a, an NPC that we need to find first and foremost. He gives us pyromancy. And uh, there is also an important item which is in a chest somewhere. Somewhere. See, if I miss either of these things, I'm definitely going to go back and get them. Whether they're off camera or not, uh, I don't know. But they're really essential things and I really need to get them. So if I miss either of them... Uh, I'm a terrible person and I should not be recording Dark Souls Let's Plays. I know that the chest that we need is in a corner in some room. I think it's this one down here, actually. Let's go ahead and lure this dog out. Or, dog. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about this guy. Well, I, I remembered him, but I didn't know he was right here. This is kind of a, a mini boss, like I was just saying. And, uh, he's actually really easy. I never have problems with this guy, but he's very fun to fight. I enjoy him. He, he's holding two giant cleavers here, which I think he might actually drop. I don't know. He's kind of like an easier capper demon, because he's got those two giant swords. He's got dogs around him. If you fight him with that dog over there, it, it could be pretty bad. But since I'm just fighting him alone, same strategy as always. Circle for a backstab. Dark Souls 101. I'm a little hesitant about playing Dark Souls 2 because apparently they uh, removed that strategy and that is my main thing. I think backstabs are either a little harder to get in that game or have less of an impact. Which that it seems like an improvement and it probably is. So I'm not gonna bitch about it. But it's just something that would cause me difficulty in the game if I were to play it. So this is the chest that gives us our ember, I believe. Perfect. That's an item that we need to upgrade our weapon any further. Right now I think it's at plus four. I think um, in order to upgrade our weapon past plus five, we need that weapon. And I'm not sure what's down there, so I'm not going to mess with it. But that could be the NPC that we're looking for. Now, uh... This is kind of like a shortcut area. We're going to be taking a big shortcut. So um, if I... I really think that I'm going to miss this NPC because I seriously forgot where he is. But don't worry about it. I'll find him off camera and you don't have to deal with it. That is if I don't find him on camera. So down here there's this uh, little furnace looking thing after the butcher. Drops us down on this big sack of bones. Not sack of bones, pile of bones. Uh, we have a rat that we can fight. Take him on in any way possible. I'm just going to try to hit him with a bunch of arrows for now. And then go down for a plunging attack maybe. Uh, just because it doesn't... Plunging attacks don't entirely kill him. And I'm kind of worried that we're going to die on him. Just because he's a big rat. And there's also kind of steep cliffs around him that if he hits us he could knock us into him. So I'm just going to try to take him out with this. I think there's some items around here that we can grab too. There is a bonfire in the depths, but we're not going to rest at it because uh, I'm lazy. And if we found it, we'd be stuck in the depths. Take that, man. Ha! I actually didn't mean to jester there. I, I meant to get out of my bow. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's get these items around here. Let's see where they are. There's a little waterfall area. That's what takes us to... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, oops. I thought there was like a small bridge there. Uh, what did he drop? Humanity. Perfect. 
This is actually where a lot of people go to farm humanity, the depths. Because there's lots of rats around here, and I've told you before, I think, that rats drop humanity. They have a pretty high chance of dropping it. And, uh, I believe that's an enemy right there. If I'm wrong, then it's just roots? Yeah. Okay. This level has quite a few, uh, slime enemies. They're pretty annoying. They, um... They poison you, I want to say. Not really poison you. Actually, I don't think they poison you. No, they do. They do. They poison you. But they're kind of hard to hit because they're on the floor. And, alright, I'm going to teach you this secret here. Not really a secret because everybody knows it, but it's a shortcut through the area. If you go down this waterfall and you stick, at, like, if you hold the left stick to the left as much as you can, you'll get to this area that's basically right in front of the boss. So that's what we're going to try to do here. Hold it down to the left. Perfect. So now we're at this area. Here's a slime enemy that I was just talking about. These guys are actually pretty tough to fight because, again, they, they're hard to hit. It'd be easy if I had pyromancy or something. Hint, hint. Uh, here's the rat in this area, a resident rat. If I wanted to, I could just run through this part, but I'd like to show you these enemies real quick in this area. I, I might actually go and explore the depths off camera just because I feel like getting a lot of the items that are here and really uh, the depths aren't that bad to explore but again for video sakes for the sake of making a good Dark Souls Let's Play video I think that I can safely exclude it. Let's go ahead and get this rat here. Uh, we don't really need to fight that slime since I've already shown you that slime. I really hope I don't have difficulties on that boss. If I do, I'm so sorry. That's the vagina monster that I was telling you about. Basically, it looks like a vagina with teeth, except for the obvious internal anatomy. He's colloquially known as the vagina monster, so that's where that comes from. He doesn't look like a, a vagina monster, exactly. Now this area is an entrance to Blight Town which is another area that we're going to skip, not entirely, but as much as we can because screw that area, I'm not even going to try to defend myself. Anyone who's played Blight Town would know why I'm skipping Blight Town. Also, frame issues. Uh, I already mentioned that. They're not that bad on PC, but they're substantial, and you'll see me die over and over on annoying parts in Blight Town. I just don't want to do that. So this takes us to like kind of a staircase area which takes us straight up to where we're going to be fighting our boss. Now if I recall correctly there's some sort of like sorcerer around here. I could be completely talking out of my ass. I... I don't know. Yeah yeah he's up there. Okay let's try to get him like we did that uh, that one guy in the undead parish. What the hell is he doing? He's giving us a dance? Maybe it's like a ritualistic kind of buff dance. And by buff, I mean like video game buff. Not as in strong buff, because he doesn't really look like he's a he's a swole kind of person. Alright, we got him. God damn it, I keep doing that. Alright, so that's the arena in which we're going to be fighting our boss. Solaire is a possible summon here, but since we're not human, uh, I'm not going to have him with me. I'm going to go ahead and two-hand my weapon here, because you can't really block this boss's attacks. Now I'm going to try my very hardest to not die on this. Because I swear, if I have to do another montage video, that will not be fun. I mean, it was, it was actually pretty fun to make, but I feel like two videos in a row having a death montage on a boss, that would kind of show my skill at Dark Souls. As in, showing my lack of skill at Dark Souls. So... The summon sign for Solaire is like around here, I think. I'm just trying to look around a little bit before I have to go fight this guy. There's an extra little uh, item set right here. Nine Estus should be enough to fight him, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and go. Let's fight the Gaping Dragon, aka the Vagina Monster.
Yeah, he's pretty scary, huh? Now, the good thing about having Solaire in this boss fight is that Solaire distracts him quite a bit. Okay, hold up. Let's back up. He has a couple major attacks. He has one where he... Oh, fuck. That would be one of them. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep trying on this. I'll, I'll edit out my commute there, but... I will fight this boss. I will fight it. I will do it. And it will be good. It will be good, so uh, I'll cut it out right here. Okay guys, uh, we're back for a minute right here just because I want to show you a couple things. Number one, I'm going to show you the fact that I'm actually going to reverse hollowing so I can get my Solaire to aid me in this fight because it's probably pretty necessary to have a distraction on him right now. And uh, another thing that I actually forgot to do, I could have done this in the past video and I really should be doing it now. A couple things. Um, number one, if we talk to our Firekeeper here, we can reinforce our Estus Flask, because we have a Firekeeper soul. Number two, we gotta kick this asshole off the side. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please, accept it. Total douche, right? I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> Not enough for you. Well... Let's not be greedy now. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of bad at kicking, so what we're going to do is unequip our our weapon here. Um, hold on. That's actually pretty bad. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to unequip it, like... Okay. We need to be able to have a like a blank hand here and I don't I don't really know how to do that okay worst things worse we have to fight him so let's just be careful yeah we kind of kicked him okay hold up let's kick him one more time oh fuck me okay we actually do have to fight him but he fell off the edge that's perfect uh, another thing to do that we have to do is uh, get out of our game and get back in. That's how we get a good ring. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to cut this out and uh, when I get back in, we will pick up his stuff. Okay everybody, we are back. And uh, I didn't really elaborate on why we kicked him off the edge, but number one for his ring. Because his ring is possibly the best ring in the game. Like everybody uses it. Because it adds a lot of really good stuff. And uh, number two, that guy. You remember that Firekeeper lady that we just talked to who's silent? Yeah, he kills her. We run into him at Anorlando where he invades us. And we come back and we have no more Firelink Shrine. Bonfire, that is. So we kind of lose our hub world for a minute, and I hate when that happens in games, like in Borderlands when you lose Sanctuary, because this is the area that makes me feel safe and secure in Dark Souls. So if anyone takes that away, I have to kill him. So that's what I did, I killed him. Kicking him off the edge is the best thing to do because that NPC rolls a lot, and he has two shottles. I think that's what it's called, a shottle. It's like a very curved blade. And, uh, he can be pretty devastating. He has a lot of HP, too. I mean, as much HP as, like, we would have. So, it's like fighting another player, basically. Which, we're not gonna do. So, now that we're human, we're gonna go back there and, um... Take on the Gaping Dragon with Solaire. And I will cut this out, and I will see you in a minute. So, be right back. Okay, everybody, we are back. We're in the depths, and we are going to try to fight this boss once more. Uh, we're also going to try to avoid that rat over there. I don't know if that's a possibility, but... Let me just see. Yeah, it looks like he kind of gave up his aggro over there. I don't know, though. Yeah, he's, he's walking away. I just don't want him to chase us up here. Nah, he won't do it. 
And if he does, we'll be fine. So this time we're going to summon Solaire. And I'll try to do this. If I can't do it, then I'll just stop commentating, I think, and edit together something. Something. I don't I don't really know what. Uh yet. So hold on. There's our Solaire summon sign. Maybe we could get uh, a real summon as well. I don't really know where one would be, but that would be really nice. You can see our blood stain over there. Yeah, it would be really cool to have a summon down here. Anyway, two-hander weapon, take that Estus, and yeah. He one-shotted us last time. That was absolutely terrible. Basically, uh, avoid that attack, definitely. Avoid all of his attacks. <laughs> He's not that hard, really, once you get down to it. But I'm trying to skip this cutscene. Okay, here we go. Uh, so Lair should provide us some protection over here. Now the first thing that you really need to do in this boss fight is go ahead and get its tail. It has an attack that it does with, it, with its tail that can be pretty devastating, I think. So, primary thing here is going to be to cut off his tail. Then whenever he does that thing where he comes down with his teeth on us, we're going to try to run. See what he's doing right now? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, I think it just hit us with his tail. That's why we're getting rid of it. Okay, let's try to rush in and get some hits on its head before it... Okay, now run, now run, now run. Run, 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 far away as possible. What is Solar even doing back here? He's been completely unhelpful. Again, try to hit that tail, try to cut it off, because you can totally do that. All right, perfect. Got the great ax. And he's stunned for a little while, and now he's going to try to run up on us. And we are going to get maybe two good hits on its head here. Until it does that thing where it runs at us. God damn it! Sprint button in Dark Souls. Why aren't you working? Okay. So we can still actually hit at its tail area here, even though, even though it doesn't have its tail. We're going to try to do that. And right now it's going to do that thing where it... Oh, jumping attack. Yeah, that's right. It's going to kind of follow us around here. I believe, no, actually, it's just going to straight up do that. And let's hit it a couple times, three times, three times the charm, and uh, run away, because I think now it's going to do that thing. Yes, it is. This is an opportunity to get at its tail. It kind of hangs on the wall for a little bit. It's a great time, great time to do this. Another boss, which I don't personally like to lock on to, at least for the tail part, I don't like it. Now we have to be kind of careful here because the place where we saw him rising out of in that boss cutscene, we can actually fall in there. And that's a bad thing to do. Four? Can I get a four? Oh, I got a kick! I got two kicks! Oh no, that's bad! Oh god damn it! Oh god damn it! Oh god damn it! Oh god damn it! No! Okay. Uh, from now on we're just gonna... We're just gonna... Just gonna record... Something some sort of montage. I came so close there too, I was getting all the strategy down and whatnot. <sighs> okay, we're gonna record all of our deaths and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay everybody, I'm coming back for a minute just to show that maybe there's something that might completely change our, uh, our course here. We actually got somebody who um, who we may be able to summon. So I'm gonna stand around the summon side for a minute and see if maybe our summoning will succeed. It's a possibility, but uh, hopefully he'll understand that I'm gonna be taking a shortcut here. Hey buddy! Hey, what's up? Uh, let me just give you a bow real quick. Nice bow. All right. So this is going to change things, uh, and we are going to be recording this, and this guy's going to help us out, so... Uh, perfect, he's already helping us on these, on these, uh... On these guys here, he should take that one back there while we do this. And hopefully he'll understand what I'm getting at here when I, when I go down that shortcut. He, uh, he did just see me get ambushed there by that hollow, and I feel bad for that, because maybe now he thinks I'm a bad Dark Souls player, because I thought he already took care of all those. 
Now, uh, I'm gonna- what the hell, man? <laughs> How are you taking so much damage on this, dude? Okay, okay. You need to change that, buddy. Not really a good idea to just run down here. What are you using, a life gem? How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. So me and my guy here are gonna tackle the gaping dragon. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck. We did get tail attack. That's pretty bad. I'm gonna use an Estus, mostly for my buddy here, because uh, I'm not that damaged. But he is. He got half of his health taken away from that. I'm gonna try to get a couple hits on the head here. Alright. And uh, we should be able to get this tail off pretty quickly. Yeah, we got it. Now he's gonna do his jumping attack. Not really jumping attack. He's gonna jump and then he's gonna, like, fall on him. Oh no, he did that attack where he hits him with his arm. I completely forgot about that. While he's down there, I'm gonna try to sprint up to the back here and get some hits on the tail. Or what was once the tail, I suppose. We're doing some pretty solid damage here. iRobot seems to be uh, of pretty equal skill here. Actually, it's not iRobot. I suppose it's just Robot because he has I's and X's in his names, not just I's. He's not the Will Smith movie. He's more like the Xbox Live account <laughs> because that's what this is. All right. Hit him with the arm attack. Yep, yep, yep. Now, when is he going to fall down? He should do that pretty soon. Hopefully not on iRobot, because iRobot's right in front of him. Oh shoot, is that his AoE? I forgot about his AoE, that's pretty bad. Gaping Dragon's AoE is really dangerous, that's the one thing that you can't really avoid on Gaping Dragon. So he's gonna get a few hits on the head there, I think that's what he's doing, and I'm gonna try to get some hits on the nub. That was once a tail. Uh, I'm just gonna sit back here because I feel like that's dangerous. It's also dangerous to be backing into this corner, but you know. I don't really know what Robot's doing. He seems kind of, kind of out of it. At least he's missing the gaping dragon a lot. All right, he's got a halberd, so we should do relatively decent damage to him. I mean, better than we're doing right now, at least. I think me and him are both kind of scared of the dragon. I'm scared to even go over there right now because uh, I'm afraid I'm going to end up running down that cliff. I'm going to use an Estus for iRobot because he's a little low on health. Not low on health, but he's missing some health. And I don't really know what the gaping dragon's doing. He seems kind of lost and uh, kind of confused, too. I'm, I'm scared to go over there. I'm just waiting for him to get over here. Because again, if we're over there, we're going to be attacked by that, uh, not attacked, but we're going to fall into the, um, to the abyss. Not the abyss. Because the abyss is actually an area in Dark Souls, believe it or not. As if that name doesn't already sound like something that's in Dark Souls. I mean, we have the depths. We have, like, three different undead areas. We have... Uh, what other areas do we have that are darkly named? I don't know. I should be focusing on this boss. It's hard to keep talking and fight this boss at the same time because you really just gotta focus. Use your focusness. You got damage there, and I don't know from what. The most humiliating possible way to die on this, I think, would be falling down there. And uh, also succumbing to this attack, so we're just gonna try to run. No! Run! Run, Dark Souls! Don't stop! Don't stop. Don't stop. Okay, he's gonna... Let's get two hits, and then run. Alright. Pillars do not protect you in Dark Souls. In case you haven't figured that out by the Asylum Demon, even. iRobot doesn't seem to be doing much over there. Maybe I'll tell him that he's in a video later. Oh boy, iRobot. You and me going through some times. 
We just got the hard leather armor. I'm actually going to equip that later because I think that's better than our current armor and it still gives us a, a good bit of mobility. So he's going to crash against the wall here, I think. He's aiming for iRobot. Yeah, he's trying his arm attack. Uh-oh. No, he's aiming for me. iRobot doesn't seem to be doing much. Come on, man. I guess me and him are both equally scared of the Gaping Dragon. Okay. Which I admit, it is really easy to be scared of the Gaping Dragon. Look at him. Just look at him like... Oh, he's building up something. Yeah, that's his AoE. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Actually, I didn't seem to be doing anything. We just gotta damage it a little bit. If we just tank it right here, probably, I feel like we could... We could probably get something done. We're taking it quite slow, which is how you take this boss fight, really. It's not that bad of a boss fight. You just have to be patient. You can't... You can't tank it like I just said you could. But rather... You have to be more careful. Now that attack is actually pretty nice when he uh, runs into a wall because he's stunned for a bunch of seconds. Now we should be able to get him here. Alright, we got him! Yes! Good job! Good job, iRobot. Good job. Alright, thank you so much, man. You are amazing. Oh god, that was, that was terrible. Alright. So, uh, now that we already picked up basically everything here, we're gonna... I think this is like a shortcut we can open up over here. I don't know about shortcut, but something. And, uh, actually I have no idea what this is. This is just kind of bars. Alright, well anyway guys, I will see you next time in the next video where we will tackle uh, skipping all of Blighttown, basically. So uh, I will see you later.